Eaker to let off there because you saw him dip his nose coming out of turn four. Now takes the high side to get around Ensign. Oh, Phil O'Connell gets a little bit loose. Today. He's a, no, he, gets, he sl slimes up in turn number three and four. He goes around, and that's going to be the first caution flag of the Eaker. Great run for him indeed. Now Josh Fry look on the outside of O'Connell trying to work his way into fourth as Holtzlander looks to, dare I say, drive his number sake, trying to get oh, in a number contact. two spot. Contact Phil O'Connell and Josh Fry. We talked about the dust heap, and there it is. Not, not at all what we wanted to see. That's not smoke. That is dust. O'Connell takes the window net off. Tough break. That was such a great race for so many laps. They did it so well. You just wondered, though, how long it was going to take, though, and O'Connell out of the car, frustrated, as you can see, but... Man, that was a great battle for that many laps. Let's we'll see if we can get another look at it, too. Yep, replay's coming up right now. Let's watch it. So you see Tallarico trying to hang on. His whole center comes to the outside. Oh. O'Connell just... Contact. Just contact between... You know what? Look like that again. It almost looks like O'Connell might have cut down a tire. Let's watch that again. The car looks... I saw some sparks, and the car just kind of went up the hill. Let's watch it, see if we can see it here. Tommy's right oh, behind Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yep. You can see it. Absolutely. Yep, there's a cut tire right there. Oh, that's just tough break. That's a tough, tough break is all that is. Josh Fry on the receiving end of that, unfortunately. That's why O'Connell got out of the car. He knew it. They're going in three. Oh, and Seth Van Horsen touches the dirt. He slides sideways. He saves it. One car, though, does spin. Yellow flag comes out. That looks like, I believe that was, I believe that was Donovan McNabb. Don McNabb spins, I think, just to try to avoid. He thought Van Horsen was coming right down. And, uh. Corrects it and gets it down in the, in the uh, grass just to miss him. So caution at lap number 11. Now maybe Van Horsen just kind of lost it there. Is maybe people are trying to check out that dirt back there, Matt. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're, well, all of a sudden, everyone's trying to get back there, and I don't think Van Horsen will see That's here on the Flow Racing replay. Not sure if he was touched at all. Oh, yeah. He just got up there too high. He was way out there. Yeah. And I mean way out there. And then Don McNabb saw him come back down, and he, he slammed on the brakes, didn't feel like wrecking the car. Thankfully, it didn't seem like too much damage in that 47 car. But He just missed the inside wall by the Flow Racing banner there. That's a shame, too, for Van Horsen. He was running really well. He there were three cars in that. There's a dust bowl out there. There's another car that's down in there. I'm not sure who it is. It's Bob, Bob. Bliss was on the inside. So, Bliss, yeah, we can't see, but... Man, that really kicked up all that dry dust. Gives us a little bit of a seam back there. So Tim Green is the one that we'll have to see what happened. As him, you know, I see some smoke coming out from Tim Green's car. Yikes. A little bit. I'm certainly no engineer, Matt, but that doesn't look good. Not sure what happened, if that was before or after the fact that he ended up out there. He said something, uh, what he might have done to Scott Root had he known it had been white flag here. Let's see oh, how it creates it. Oh, Bill Epping. Bill really Epping. Oh, and he found the uh, the makeshift plastic wall out there. Hopefully he's okay. Wow. Billy Epping just kind of lost it, and I'm not sure if he just got shoved up there and then just had to go off into the dirt and to preserve the car. And it looks like he's going to try to drive it out of there. Wow. Man. Good for him. That's good. Wow. All right. Make it six for the dust. And, of course, you have to remember, you know, Billy kind of has a little bit of experience with that turn three wall, man. I mean, we have There's we the, have, we have the, uh, the, the magazine, the circle right track magazine picture of what happened and why there are tires in front of that wall. Yeah. Those white tires you see on your, on your screen right now. But... Yeah, those those tires are the ones Billy Epping hit in uh, 2000, six, seven, eight, somewhere in that range, and made the front cover of Circle Track magazine. It sits behind us here in the broadcast booth. Who hit it last year? The first, it was like the first or second race of the year. Someone hit yeah, those tires. In the four, uh, cylinder. four cylinders hit it, yeah, and then it got hit real bad at the end of the year too. Yeah, fortunately for Billy, yeah, it's one of those things like. 
it's almost in a way nice to know that the dirt's back there and it's flat where if you do get pushed off you can kind of just coast off and you kind of saw what he was in front of there's a plastic wall which is I believe they're almost painted white Max remember one time we had a feature with George back in the day and we all sat on that wall yeah and we all had white on our backsides because <laughs> remember because it was all kind uh, of the paint was kind of fading off up, and yeah unfortunately thank goodness we didn't have What's any front shots here? you see him right up top there yeah it looks like he just got uh, not sure if he well it looked like he was already going up high you see him hit that's the old mini uh, the old mini wedge wall back there yeah and it looked like yeah he just kind of lost it and decided that he wasn't yeah still van dyke reisinger Anderson, DeVos, and Scotty Root. There you see them. They're all kind of spread out. DeVos. Oh, oh. gets into Mac and Denny. Oh. Oh, contact to DeVos and Scotty Root. And Tim DeVos into the wall. Scott Root got into him. Scott Root quickly just turns it down wow. into pit road there, and that is a lot of damage on the Tim DeVos machine. Man, oh, man. You s well, it will not be 104 tonight. No, sir. It all started with Tim kind of getting a little inside on Denny. Coming out of four here, and he it's nudged more, him. It was more than a little inside. It was very inside. We'll watch the replay here in a minute. And Tim wow. had to, Tim checked up. Tim DeVos checked up. Well, like I said, when we get a, a look at that, what ended up happening was he checked back up, and that allowed Scott Root to come back on him, and then he went back up high, and I think Tim DeVos just didn't wouldn't realize he was wasn't clear. Well, let's see, watch let's replay and we'll see what uh, what they saw. Here it is. This is going to tell us the story. Contact with Denny Anderson. Oh, Scotty Root gets into him. Yeah, he started coming back up high. Scotty Root got that run with DeVos and him. DeVos and Anderson kind of slowing up a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Scott just clipped him and hard in the wall goes. Scotty Root uh, all up in Tim DeVos's grill down here on Pit Road. Big crowd. He's being pulled back by officials. Not happy, obviously. Wow. You can see the, the damage. So that's going to be a lot of work. Josh Fry just waiting in the wings now, getting right back on the bumper there oh, of the number four car. Wins. Adam Kasari goes around at lap number 15. Yeah, he spins around, and once again, we'll bunch him back up, and now we're down to 10 laps to go. Didn't quite see anything from our first angle. Then again, we were looking at the battle up front. And it looked like we'll see if we can catch it on our flow racing replay here in just a moment, but... Well, Matt, I'm, there we go. Oh, here we go. We'll get a look at it. He's in a battle here with with Alan Davis, and uh, I think he just lost it. Yeah, he just you kind of see they were door to door, and I don't think he really nudged him off, and maybe he checked up a little bit. And but if you're gonna if you're gonna spin and save, find him. your way into the top five. Is here goes Rice and got diving down the inside as Van Dyke shoots up high, oh. and they touch. Wow. Van Dyke Mars. around, and now we have a big pile up on the back stretch. Oh, and Anna Kusari gets just through. He was almost full speed through there. Goodness. How did he get through there? You can see the spot right there. It's right there. It was <laughs> Josh Fry spins. Look at the donut marks. He's coming in hot like Cole Trickle in Days of Thunder. Yeah, let's watch it right. Now, now let's just let's watch what happened here. Well, looked like Rising just went up a little bit. And Fry lost it in there, the smoke, and that's when he hit. There's Kusari right there. Wow. Oh, man. He almost nailed. He almost hit the tire, almost hit. Almost hit everything. Somehow he got through there. And there, there's bright sun right now, and there's smoke, and there's dirt. Oh, yeah. Looks like the, the second hit on the right rear is really what did that. Fry tried to – Fry thought he had to keep it on the track, and he came down <laughs> a little bit. Well, because he, he was either going to go – he was already up here in the dirt, so he kind of came back down, and then you'll – I don't know if you'll catch it here. You'll see Van Dyke kind of spin a little bit back up the track. And that's where Fry is going to get involved with him. Right there. Yeah, and he spun out, and then he came together. And is that, I believe, that's Matt Postma. Okay, Matt Postma goes off, and I believe that it's going to end the race, and it does. Yep. Well, not a, not a happy finish. Not exactly the most beautiful race ever, but 
It's in the books. Tyler Reisinger wins. Denny Anderson second. Allen Davis third. Sean Gibson and Josh Fry. Good job by Gibson there. I've Real fast, car goes Whoa. off. Trevor McCoy, another one in the dirt off of lap number two. Almost identical to what we saw from Billy Epping. He got on the outside, got a little loose, and elected to oh, take McCoy a got the back there farther, even. Oh yeah, he hit the those big tractor tires. Just the second that we even get to the...